So I was speaking with the instructor, got some nice information from him. He was kind enough to give me a little inside information. And it turns out that in Hyundai, if you have an issue with this battery pack, okay, if one of these cells were to get defective, they will actually won't, at a Hyundai dealer, open up this big battery pack and replace the cell. They'll actually just replace, swap out the whole battery pack. And then they'll send the original one to a special servicing center that has a technology where they can actually pinpoint which battery is bad and then make the decision on whether they just want to refurbish it, change that individual battery, and then send it back to the dealership. Now, the question becomes, I mean, is, does that mean you have to buy two batteries? Is it gonna be a swappable program? I don't know. I mean, if you have, say, a, a battery like this with only 50,000 miles on it, you want a refurbished battery that had 100,000 miles on it. So those are the logistics that are yet to be determined. But let me tell you, I'm very impressed with the quality of this device. You can see all these bus bars are nice, nicely done. They actually have them removed, the small bus bars, to keep the voltage down uh, so no one gets hurt during training. This is the BMS, the battery management system that's controlling these orange cables. This device will actually monitor the uh, the actual cell temperature and the cell state of charge, SOC. But you don't want to have this one. These operate at 30 volts, I'm told. So it's approximately 880 volts is the operating system. And it is shared between two drivetrains. So we've got the front drivetrain and the rear drivetrain. But if this cell, say, is 32 volts and this one's 28 volts, that's a problem, okay? So this device is supposed to add or retract to make sure the state of charge is equal. So this is constantly doing a balancing act. I like it. I like the way it's designed. It's extremely heavy. Um, but this is the future, guys. Now, where I'm not sold, I don't know, and because Tesla is the dominant player here, I hope no one hears me say that in the Hyundai, but obviously Tesla is the, the elephant in the room. And Tesla is operating at 400 volts, and this is operating at 800 volts. So we need to come to a consensus. Once that is happens, I think it's game over. I think we'll end up having a standard battery pack, almost like your car battery, where there's like a certain size. You go to Walmart and you look up at the chart and you get your battery. I think the same is going to be. There'll be a few different options for EV batteries going forward. That's my opinion. Time will tell. See you guys. EV charger fast.